Hello, this is David speaking, and I'm going to show you now how to download and install VO Pro version 2. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to the Forex Factory thread here, and we'll just scroll down to the where the downloads are and click on um, the file here, and that will download it into um, a folder that I have here called David. So now we'll go into my computer and if we go drive C and folder David down here we will find VO Pro version 2 beta so I'll double click on that we want to extract all files next Okay, where do you want to extract the files to? We want to go My Computer, C, uh, down to Program Files, and then the MT4 Brokers folder. And that's it, so we'll OK that. You'll notice it's just the Brokers folder, it's, there's no Experts or, or any other subfolders after that. Okay, next. Now I've already got uh, VO Pro version 1 installed, so I'll just say yes to all to override everything. And then we want to show the extracted file, so we'll click finish, and we're all done. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is go to the files folder here, and we want to run the application VO console. So double click on that to run it. Okay, you'll notice there's a quick flash there of a, a black screen. What that's doing is if you've installed uh, uh, VO Pro version 1, it, it does a cleanup, cleans that out so version 2 is ready to go. And you can see the VO console running up here. Okay, the next thing I want to do is um, start MT4. So we'll go up a couple of folders. Here's the MT4 application here, terminal. So I'll double click on that. Okay, and up comes MT4. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is uh, resize the screen. So I'll just drag this across like so, so that we've got MT4 and VO Pro sitting alongside each other like that. Um, I find that's the, the best way to operate. Okay, now... If we look at the scripts here, we've, we'll find we've got uh, five VO scripts. And now you can either uh, put them in your favorites or you can create hotkeys for them. I'm going to do both. I'll show you how to do both here. So if the first one I'll do is uh, create new order, right click, add to favorites. Then we go back to the common tab there. Next one, modify orders, right click, add to favorites. And we'll just do the same with close and delete orders and the cleanup and the monitor. So now we've got them sitting up here in the favorites and they're easy to get at and, and it's close by to the control console here. So it's all, all together handy in one place. Um, however, if you prefer using the keyboard, you might want to set up uh, hotkeys for these. So we'll right click. Set hotkey. Now my preferred hotkeys are for the cleanup. I use control zero. For uh, the close and delete orders, I use control nine. For the create new order, I use control seven. And for the modify, control eight. So that's how you set those up. Okay, so one more thing. Um, if I go here, Tools, Options. Um, on the Expert Advisor tab here, I need to have Expert Advisors enabled and I also need to have Allow Live Trading enabled, uh, preferably without the manual confirmation. So you set it up something like that. And then if we look at objects, you're going to be selecting a lot of lines here. So you need to decide whether you want to select these objects with using a single mouse click or a double mouse click. I prefer single, so I've checked that on there. 
One final thing you'll need to do is to get the VO monitor running on a dummy chart. By a dummy chart I mean a chart that you're, you're not likely to uh, want to place orders on or run any of the other VO scripts. So I've chosen this chart here, US dollar yen for our chart, and it's simply a case of dragging the VO monitor onto the chart. Uh, a refresh time of two seconds uh, is fine, so we'll just OK that. And you can see the little graphic down the bottom there to show us that the monitor is running. Um, if ever you restart MT4, um, you'll need to go through that process again. The VO monitor needs to be running continuously in the background uh, all the time while VO Pro is running. OK, so I'll just uh, move back onto this chart now. OK, so now we're ready to go. So we'll try dragging uh, Create New Order there onto the chart. And if we get the three lines appearing like that, yep, we're, we're good to go. OK, thanks very much for watching this video. For more information about VO Pro, please visit the web page shown here.